grateful for another opportunity uh, to speak a word for the Lord. And uh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go right into it. I, I believe I've got something that is going to make somebody happy, uh, perk somebody up. Uh, and it comes from Isaiah 43 and verse 19. And it reads, Behold, I am doing a new thing. Isn't that wonderful? Yes, Amen. sir. Uh, now it springs forth. Uh, do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Verse 20 reads, the wild beasts uh, translated or uh, immoral people will honor me and the jackals translated deceitful people uh, they're going to honor me and the ostrich uh, ostriches meaning those folk who tend to want to hide their heads in the sand God is saying that they too are going to honor him he says for I give water in the wilderness, rivers in the desert. Uh, the reason I do it is to give drink to my chosen people. Verse 21, the people whom I formed for myself, that they might declare my praise. To the reading and the hearing of his word. Good to be with you during this. Uh, I don't know what you would call this as a virtual, mm -hmm. virtual Welcome. revival. Amen. And uh, this is the thought I want to leave with you uh, with uh, this season being on us where we've had to be locked in and this terrible disease uh, called the coronavirus. Uh, some of us are wondering, uh, is there any good news? Well, everything God does, he does it in order to lead us to good news. And uh, the good news that's coming out of this is that God is getting ready to bountifully bless his people. Mm -hmm. But now his people must repent. Anything that you've done that you know is wrong, you think is wrong, you need to repent for it. Ask God to forgive it and uh, once you've done that, then you can look for God to bring you out on the brighter side. Uh, my thought for tonight is simply this. The shift is already in progress. The shift is already in progress. When things seem to be at their worst, child of God, the Lord says, behold, or look, take your eyes or your focus from the negative and uh, put them on me. Look in my direction. Uh, doesn't matter how bad our situation is even now as I speak to you. And I know all about uh, the sicknesses uh, that have happened to um, tens of thousands and even the death that have uh, happened to uh, a great many thousands of us. Uh, uh, you still got to keep uh, your eyes on Jesus. Look in my direction. It doesn't matter how bad things are, situations are. Uh, God says, I'm doing a new thing. Praise God. He says, as soon as you can break your gaze 
from the things that you see before you from this world mm -hmm. and focus uh, on me. Hallelujah. He says, you will immediately sense that I'm moving on your behalf. Praise God, praise God. As a matter of fact, uh, when you look to Jesus, it will be so clear for you. Mm -hmm. uh, you won't be able to miss it. But see, that's, that's the reason why you got to keep your eyes on Jesus. And I want all of you to know that the move of God mm -hmm, that's designed to pick us up and take us to the next level mm -hmm, is already in progress. Thank God for that. It's already in progress. In other words, God is right now shifting some things uh, around this entire world. Uh, he's shifting some things around the world that's going to make uh, your way better. If you're, if you're in a situation where uh, it looks like you have no way out, God's getting ready to make a way out for you. Uh, you may be in the wilderness, but he's going to meet you there and get you out. And uh, he's going to cause, the scripture says, rivers mm -hmm, uh, to flow mm -hmm, into your desert places. Praise God. And when you make up your mind that uh, greater is he, uh -huh, that's in you than he that is in the world, you're going to begin to see clearly and understand uh, totally how precious and honored you are mm -hmm. uh, uh, in the sight of God. Uh, for I hear him saying, fear not. We're not a people of fear, but we are a people of power, love, and soundness of mind. He's saying, fear not, for I have redeemed you, praise God, and called you by name. Hallelujah. And for you, who feel alone and deserted, this is God saying to you, you are mine. Huh? See, somebody's listening to me right now and you don't think that uh, you have anybody. No, oh, my brother, my sister, God is saying that you are mine. All you've got to do is believe uh, that this divine shift hmm, is already in progress. Second Chronicles 7 and 14 is clear. If hmm, my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves, pray, seek my face, turn from their wicked ways, hmm, I'll hear from heaven. And I'll forgive their sin, and I will heal their land. Thank you, Jesus. He says, when you pass through uh, the troubled waters of life, mm -hmm. uh, you need not worry, for I'll, mm -hmm, I'll be there for you. I'll be with you. Hallelujah. And it doesn't matter uh, how rough the rivers they shall not overwhelm God's people. 
And when you walk through the fire, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego testified to this, that uh, <clears throat> you shall not be burned. And the flame shall not consume you, for I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel. Oh, thank you, Jesus, your Savior. And all I'm trying to tell you tonight, and I'm not going to be that long, but I certainly want you to get this message. And that is that you're coming into a shift. Huh? God uh, um, told us to go into the house and shut the doors because he had some things that he needs to straighten out with the world. But those of you who are his, and remember I told you that you are his. Those of us that are his, he's doing a new thing for us. You just got to, you got to wait it out tough it out, cry it out, whatever you have to do, wait on the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, for he is Lord of all. He is our Savior. And, and sir, ma'am, mm -hmm, I want you to know that you're coming into a shift. One touch. Mm of God's favor can move you from where you are to the place of victory. Mm -hmm. Please hear me. Oh my God, I want you to get this. Uh, that place that you've longed for in life, God says, soon it'll be yours. And it doesn't take a long time for him to do it. Mm -hmm. When you get caught up in the shift. See, uh, right along and through here, uh, if you don't really know God for yourself, what, you're, what you see going on around you can uh, kind of make you wonder about God. It can kind of uh, stir up that little bit of fear that you may have. But if, if you know God for yourself. Hmm? You know that Isaiah 40 and 31 says, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Hmm? Thank you, Jesus. They'll run and not be weary. They'll walk and not faint. Thank God for Jesus. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 says that uh, what we have to do in times like these is trust in the Lord. Mm -hmm. That word trust, every letter has to be capitalized. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding. Your mind doesn't know what's going on. You have to trust God to give you the wisdom to understand the times and the season. Praise God. And I'm going to tell you something else. Uh, you're hearing about this. Uh, it's going to happen. It's going to take uh, this year, next year, and maybe uh, the year 21, you know, I, I don't, I don't even uh, worry about that because when God moves, the Bible says that he moves all of a sudden. And one good break, one idea, one person that loves you as much as God loves them, you can look up and find yourself at the top with no way to explain how you got that. Praise God. You didn't see it coming? Mm -hmm. But it happened suddenly. Just fell, your life just fell into place. I'm trying to talk to somebody who's not saved and just say to you that if you will give your life to Jesus as of 
right now. Mm -hmm. You can begin to set yourself up to be blessed. I mean bountifully blessed by the Lord because I'm here to tell you tonight uh, in this revival service that uh, uh, God is shifting things mm, into uh, your favor, shifting things mm -hmm, in your direction. You know, God is so miraculous and so good. Guess, uh, guess what I'm, I, well, this is what I want to tell you. God can cause opportunity to find you. See, somebody is listening to me now and and uh, you're upset because it just seems like God has left you out and you haven't been able to, uh, you know, associate yourself with his goodness and so on. But uh, this, believe it or not, is an opportunity mm -hmm, for God to find you and for you to find him to where suddenly you're going to, you know, come into right relationship with him. Uh, you're going to meet the right people suddenly, hmm, unexpectedly, and they're going to be uh, a source of bountiful blessings to you. And, and uh, uh, what's going to happen is your sick body, sir, ma'am, is going to be made well. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, uh, out of what seems like nowhere, mm, uh, you've, uh, you're going to be able, and I mean all of a sudden again, to catch up mm, on your bills. Mm, thank you, Jesus. And before you know it, you will have even paid your car or your house off. I'm telling you, the shift is already in progress. What's happened? You came into a shift where God moved and breathed in your direction. Hmm? Boy, once you feel the breath of God ah, warm your body, your soul, your mind, you just need to stop there and say, Lord, continue to breathe on me. Breathe on me. And, uh, uh, what should have, you'll see that what should have been an impossibility has now been completed. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. And what uh, was a struggle has now become another victory. Glory to God. What uh, should have taken years uh, to happen mm -hmm, has happened now in a fraction of the time. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, and somebody... Mm, is going to be blessed beyond measure. Amen. But now, even though I've said that, there's somebody listening to me right now. You feel like you're stuck and you're not going to be able to go any further. Hmm? But my advice to you, as a great preacher from Dallas, Texas says, you need to get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Mm -hmm. For I hear the Lord saying, I'm about to shift things uh -huh, just for you. You know, that's, that's why I love the Lord so much. With all of this that's going on 
you know, I, I, I had to tell him I've been sick in my body and uh, I've had to learn how to walk all over again. My back went completely out. I had a couple, two strokes, and I thank God that uh, I came out of both of them with just a little bit of a speech impediment, but uh, God's even healing that. And uh, uh, I just want people who, who really believe God and believe my testimony. God is not through blessing you. Amen. You, you, oh man, you better get ready because uh, he's gonna, he's going to advance you by leaps and bounds so that you can be uh, the person of progress that you'd like to be. Doors are going to open for you. Mm -hmm. That uh, would not open mm, in the past. Mm. I'm about through. Somebody better get happy with me. <laughs> Doors uh -huh, that were closed in your face. God is opening again. Uh -huh. And the people that were against you. Mm -hmm. God is going to touch them in a way mm, uh, so that they will mm, be for you. Mm -hmm. And uh, you're going to, to see them move toward you with a whole new opinion of who you are. Uh, it's all going to happen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Come on, Bishop. Oh, of a sudden. Yes, sir. Thank you, Jesus. Suddenly, God is going to level that valley ground. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yes, Lord. All of a sudden, yes, God is going to move your mountain out of your way. Yeah. All of a sudden, God is going to do all of the things uh -huh, that you didn't know he could do or even would do. Mm. But thank God uh, the shift yeah. mm -hmm, is already in progress. Thank you, Lord. Uh, that problem mm, that have dogged you for years is all of a sudden going to work out in your favor. Thank you, Lord, for your good. Why? Because it's your season. Yeah. God's getting ready to give you uh, your season. Thank you, Lord. Your time has come. Thank you, Jesus. And you, sir, you, ma'am, you've come into the shift. Yeah. Uh, this is mm, the year of the shift. Yes, I Lord. Somebody, man, uh, but what about uh, this season that we're in? People are dying. People are sick. What about this disease? called the coronavirus. I know that these things can kind of turn your head and make you wonder about the God you serve. But I'm here to try my best to convince you yes, that you are headed toward this wonderful, blessed shift of God. Yeah. God is going to make things work out better for you. This is the year of the shift because you have honored God. He's going to shift some things say for it, you. Because Lord, yes, Lord. you have been faithful to God. He's going to shift some things for you because you've been a faithful servant, a good child of God. 
He's going to lift you uh, uh, to a high and lofty place uh, that you've never been before, a place you never would have obtained on your own. Thank you, Jesus. And no, mm, it won't be due to your education. Mm -hmm. No, it won't be. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> it won't be uh, because of your family's money. Thank you, Jesus, or anything else you consider mm -hmm. reasonable. No, it's going to be the hand of God shifting you to a new level of your destiny. Stop thinking that you've done everything that you can do. Stop thinking that there's no more progress that can be Preach, made. Bishop. I want to tell you, with God shifting things, the way he's doing, you're going to be better and not better. You're going to make it another day. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Lord, God is he's shifting you to a new level of destiny, a new level of promise. And as I close, I got to quit, y'all. God wants me to tell you a shift is coming. Mm -hmm. Did you hear what I said? A shift is coming. Mm -hmm. A shift in your health mm -hmm. is coming. Uh -huh. The last time you went to the doctor, he gave you a bad report. Mm -hmm. But when you go back this time, He's going to look at you uh, in surprise and say, I don't know what happened, uh, but things have changed. And that's when I want you to remember Bishop Rance Allen telling you uh, that the shift is already in progress. Thank you, Lord. Uh, there's going to be a reverse action in all of the negative places of your life. Look like every time you approach something, it turns out bad. But I'm here tonight to tell you, uh, because of the shift, look for a reverse in all of the negative things and watch God make the negative positive. Everything that the devil was using against you God's going to take it, flip it around, and make it work for your good. Thank you, Jesus. God is, oh, I feel like hollering a little bit. God is. Holla, sir, holla. God is. He's shifting some things. Thank you, Lord. And as I close, I want to say to you, mm -hmm, I want to tell you mm -hmm, that your health is going to be better. Your finances are going to yep, take okay. better. Thank you, Jesus. See, the enemy wants you to think that while God is doing what he's doing, that you're going to have to suffer. But I'm telling you uh, that because you are a child of God, He's going to make a way. Yeah, he's going to send rivers into the desert. In other words, there's going to be food for you and your family to eat. Thank you. You're not going to be out of doors. Stop thinking negative thoughts and know that the God you serve is able to do anything but fail. Thank you, Jesus. As I close, I want to say to you again, your finances are going to be better. You're going to get this reverse in your life. The enemies that dogged you for years are about to disappear and then reappear 
as the ones who can help you and are ready to help you. Thank you, Jesus. God is, mm, he's going to stop the pain. Somebody's been in pain, but I'm here tonight to tell you that God's going to stop your pain. I've been out and down and sick for about the last five months, but do you think I'm going to give up on God? I can't give up on him because he's the only one that can help me. Don't you? Don't you? Give up on God, for he's the only one that can help you. Guess what he'll do? He'll stop your pain, mm -hmm. and he'll heal the hurt. Thank you, Jesus. He'll make your enemy behave. Thank you, Jesus. He'll make your mountain easier to climb. And ah, if you need him to, he'll even move your mountain completely out of the way. Thank you, Jesus. You just got to know that you're right in the midst of a godly, divine shift. And the good thing about it, I'm closing, the shift has already begun. The shift is already in progress. Somebody said in a song, I will trust in the Lord. Yes, I will until I die. Thank you. I will trust in the Lord. Thank you, Jesus, all of my life. Hallelujah. Don't you let go of God's hand. Somebody else sang and said, hold to his hand, God's unchanging hand. Feel oh, your hopes on things eternal. Hold on Hold on, thank you, Lord. Hold on to the hand of God. Thank you, Lord. Be not weary in well-doing. You're going to reap if you faint not. I know we can't touch nobody. I know we can't be anywhere closer than six feet from whomever. But just wave at some folk, wherever you are, just wave at them and tell them, say, everything is going to be all right. Everything is working out in your favor. Thank you, Jesus. I wish I could hear somebody give God praise right now. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Ain't yes. But an old simple preacher. I want you to know that the shift is already. Yes, sir. Thank you. Good. Am I so? Mm -hmm. I want somebody to leave this revival tonight, knowing that you are the apple of God's eye knowing that he has not brought you this far to leave you where you are, but instead he's getting ready to take you higher, higher. Oh, Lord, I'm going to say it anyhow. I, I want you to just look at somebody wherever you are and tell them where you're going. Just tell them I'm going higher. Higher, higher, higher. higher. Mm -hmm. in the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And why is that? How is that? Mm -hmm. Because the shift is already yes, sir. In, progress. in progress. Put yes, your sir. smile back on your face. Amen. Amen. Bishop, thank you. Uh, and the Harvest Crusade virtual revival.
Thank you, Evangelist Ryan Keyes and your ministry for giving me a chance to encourage God's people. Oh, don't you dare forget, tomorrow when things may look worse than they do today, just remember the shift already in progress. This has been Bishop Rance Allen, and I thank you again for this great opportunity. Uh, until I see you again or run into you somewhere on the road, may you be bountifully blessed. Amen. Oh, my Lord, what an amazing word from the Lord on tonight. Oh, my soul is rejoicing. Down in the city of my soul is rejoicing. Thank you, Bishop. For yes, that profound, sir. anointed, God-given prophetic word. It's just confirmation. We are in our sixth week of revival. And I believe this is about the fourth or fifth message that we've heard about shifting. But yours was the only one that was a little different because you are, yours said it's already in progress. Oh, and from right. the time we heard it from the first week up until now, I do believe that it's already in progress. Thank you again, Bishop and Mother Allen. Thank you, Elder Freeman and Sister Brandy and those at the house that helped the work that helped Bishop to get it so that he could be on tonight. We appreciate it. We enjoyed you. Oh, my Lord. I wish you could see all the comments. I'll have to get a, a send an email to Mother Allen so you can see all of the comments. <laughs> folks up there. Yes, sir. So many up here were blessed by the word of the Lord on tonight. And we thank you so much. Thank you, everybody, for being on tonight. We'll be back tomorrow night at seven o'clock. Elder Cameron D. Eads. Uh, we'll be sharing the word of the Lord with us tomorrow night at seven o'clock p.m. And we're and that tomorrow night we'll conclude the six week revival. We're going to take a little break. And so he's going to end us out tomorrow night. And certainly our hearts will rejoice. The message tonight was recorded and we will have it on YouTube 